question will be why is there so much of unemployment happening and only the rich are becoming richer and the poor are becoming poorer when they when came in power they promised us it would be a, like in manipur it would be a free land of insurgency but we can see it increasingly by day and night so i would like to ask them what they have done to change what they uh, they promised us everybody even us not even us even our parents are like uh, afraid to go out late uh, or even do some works and all no? where when they do something uh, like i don't know what i don't know what the government has done but nobody is like free you no know, free to do whatever they want so i want to ask this what they have they done for us and what are they planning to do for us So uh, my name is Nandeshwari Samjit Sabam and uh, right now I'm doing uh, my Master of Technology in Electronics uh, in NIT Manipur. I'm Dr. Indira Parakam. I'm a general dentist and I'm currently practicing at Romi Healthcare Pangai right now. I am Nandita Nongthombam and currently pursuing Masters in English in Rajiv Gandhi University Arunachal. I feel Manipur is a very different state from others because we have like so many communities and also we Need, we feel the need of involvement for every individual uh, like to bring development but uh, the level of involvement for the youths uh, as well as the growing up at grow, grown up adults and all they are the participation is very less i guess because uh, here we feel that if someone is involved in these things uh, like they are not very good and all i don't know but people conceive that way but in recent past years like this election this coming election i i can see the involvement of youths very well like uh, even uh, in going for campaigns and all the youths have played a major role and even in social medias and all the youth plays a major role and as for the involvement of women uh, i i see a vast changes in the involvement of women uh, yeah there are women involved in bureaucracy as well as and also in execu execution and all but yeah and legislature the percentage of women involved as for the past years it's not very much but we have seen this year we have seen many women candidates coming out uh, yeah that's a good sign from what i have seen during this past bjp rule they were very biased so and i have faced some problems quite myself personally on that also so i prefer congress over it this is going to be my first time voting for the election uh, so but then when uh, congress was in uh, like when congress was ruling before the bjp came uh, there was not so much of an issue uh, of getting jobs so it's not just about jobs it means like we didn't have to be that much scared of going out here and there or certain things as a girl as a woman so but now that bjp are ruling there are certain crimes that's happening and uh, it's not just about our safety but it's more about uh, if we talk about education also um, there are issues that um, how do i say because of corruption to be very frank this is going to be my first time voting okay. the election and like as i've seen and i have experienced i feel no particular party is like giving opinion for girls giving spaces for girls they put many things for girls in their manifestos i have seen that and even today i have seen like scooty for every girl child in the colleges yeah i have seen that it's a manifesto by bjp i think but i have not seen anything any party doing work properly regarding the women in the society and what the women had faces you know what women faces and all they haven't stand properly for women even once so what i felt was when congress was ruling uh, we thought that there was still corruption back then also but then now it have like tremendously increased so much i've seen manifestos pro uh, providing spaces for lgbt community and all uh, that's good that's like i i think it's very happy to uh, we have many manifestos no i don't but we'll see because we have like for the past few years people have been electing the same people uh, who won't do anything no this time the people the involvement is very high i don't think in manipur uh, the party election party best election is not that uh, appropriate it depends upon the candidate yeah it depends upon the candidate yeah. it depends upon the candidate like mm, even in my yeah, school ac So there is Thanajam Brinda. Yeah, people are very supportive of her. Like, even though she did not go into, she want I don't know which party she wanted to enter, but she went to JDU. So prior to her um, 
want to say political party announcement people were very supportive even now they are very supportive so it's not the part, political parties that we are voting for we are voting for the candidates the women candidates who are coming up they feel that they are not competent enough to lead the people that's what the society thinks so people usually don't go for women candidates to vote for them that's what i feel like uh, from the society what i've been hearing in this past years like this is my second time voting so i last time they were talking about that what will a woman do when she leads the state that's what the thinking is and what will a man do <laughs> Let's not think in terms of a man or woman. Mm -hmm. Who is a competent candidate according to you to fulfill your, you know, your your, your generation's desire? No? What kind of definitions, what kind of calibers, what kind of qualities should a politician have to be your ideal politician? I think somebody who is quite educated and who can speak up for themselves, you know, and not have somebody else speak for them. As a student, I think somebody who is quite educated is very important. Someone empathetic. Empathetic in the sense that someone who can connect with the people. Uh, yeah, education is a must, but I feel that someone empathetic, someone who can connect the people, who can know what the people want and who can understand what is good and what is bad is very important. Uh, right now, uh, we have so many candidates uh, who had like do doctorate degrees who uh, who are retired from high officials and all we have all that but i think empathy is a very important quality that every candidate must have when we when we started book club in fall we like we focus on the youths and their talents and all in manipur uh, like the peop the the high officials and all the bureaucrats and all they don't go for talents they don't that try to like uh, know the potential of the youth. They just they try to suppress us. So I feel that uh, someone who can like bring out the potential in us is a very must. The youths are actively participating right now. They're discussing all these things. And wherever like there's a discussion, it's only about this. Like what can be changed and what needs to be changed. Most of it. Now when the election is coming around, means like uh, the, the the candidates who are electing, no, uh, the candidates. So uh, they are quite active in uh, involvement with the people, like of their constituency. But when election gets over, or when there is a gap between the election, uh, no, before the election, for the five they, years, uh, yeah, for the five years, they don't involve that much with the people. So I want them to <laughs> have little involvement with the people. Oh, okay. uh, yeah. Be consistent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Be consistent because uh, we can see them coming only when the election is quite near. They don't do that when the election is over. We often discuss this, you know, like, uh, will you get a job in Manipur? Because it's it's there where it all started. So, yeah, I'm planning to come back here in Manipur and like start a life here. Uh, so, yes, because yeah, we need to do something. If we all go, I don't know who will bring the change. It's like small steps matter. So I think we can settle here. When I actually was studying uh, outside for quite a long, only for my master I'm here because of Corona, I couldn't go out. But um, since the like study that I'm doing, like the subject that I'm doing, uh, it will be a little difficult for me to get a job here. But um, I want to try for being a professor here in Manipur because the, uh, the amount of lady professor in our college is quite less. So yeah, I want to come back. I'm not satisfied with the rate of the change, but small steps are coming up. That's happy. I'm happy with that. We can expect more in the coming elections. That's all I can say. We cannot bring up changes directly from where we were. 